Say hi, Ariel. Hello. <laughs> Ariel and I went to college together, and we we're very good friends. She's a an anime enthusiast like us, and was classically trained in watercolor, but currently works digitally like me. So, um, are you working on anything right now, Ariel? Uh, right now, the most recent thing I just finished, I can share, is uh, I did a drawing of my OCs. I'm writing a cowboy comic right now called Full Out War. <laughs> That I mean, I think every artist has some sort of like comic they always want to do, right? Yeah. Or something like that. And they always have some uh, sort of original characters. So these are some of mine. This is Jesse James, and he's in love with the stripper. Jesse James, like my Jesse and my James, Team Rocket. Yes, of course. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> okay. So today we're going to do some TikTok art challenges. We are basically pulling these blind because I haven't looked at these since I made the list and I just pulled a couple ones that you could do with friends. Character design challenge. You will need a friend for this one. If your friend is also an artist, ask the questions in a random order so they don't know what they're answering. Okay, let's start. Ask your friend for a color and what they respond will be the skin color of your character. Ask your friend for a color. I need sticky notes. What's a color I should use? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with pink. You have to do yellow. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, so. The artist Bane, the least contrasted <laughs> color. <laughs> My favorite. Yeah. May have a yellow ochre. Oh, okay, alright. Is that acceptable? The case in yellow. <laughs> that was Irish for a second. That's the skin color of your character. Oh, and okay, freaking tastic. Next color. Then ask for another color, and their answer will be the hair color of your precious character. Oh, just another color? Another color for you is gonna be uh, uh orange. Orange. Alright, maybe so that's the hair it said? Yeah, so you gotta give okay, me Okay, yours is gonna be like, uh, cyan. That is. Like an aquamarine uh, Slash aquamarine. E. And then we have the last color, and this answer will be the icon. Okay, last color. Black, uh, for you. Oh, oh god! Okay, black, and what is it supposed to be for? We're not supposed to know that, so just- oh, Horse green. Great. That's a specific color of your amazingly awesome character. And that's the eye color. Okay, black eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there's <laughs> such a curse. It's good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now ask your friend or lover for a number from one to six. Number from one to six. You get three. Dang it, I was gonna be my number. <sighs> uh, okay, okay, I'm just gonna say three. Okay, for you, I'm gonna say six. Okay. That's what is that? What they respond will be the length of your character's hair. The length of your character's hair. So you got number three, so yours is kind of long. Kind of long. God. And mine is free choice. So how whatever kind of hair I want, okay? Ask for another number from one to six. Another number from one to six. You're gonna get four this time. Okay, and you're gonna get one. And this number will determine what species your babe will be. Well, okay, this is what species we're drawing. So one is demon, so I get a demon. Oh, that's so perfect. For and you. yours is a siren. That's perfect for you. I am a mermaid. Mermaid. Okay, there's more. Ask again. Okay, one to six again. Okay, um, you get one this time. Okay, I'm number. I'm number one, and you get to number four. Okay. This one to six will decide the style of your hottie. Oh, uh, this is like what kind of vibe we give off. So number one, emo. <laughs> Okay, himbo siren, I'm digging it. And number four says himbo. Himbo? I love a himbo. What's a himbo? It's a dumb buff guy. Ah. Uh, oh, it also says slash shimbo, so okay, so it's I. It's a dumb, uh, a really, like, big, attractive, uh. Oh, God. Girls are like attractive, I guess. And now, once more, you will ask for a number between one and six. You get five. Okay, then you get two. This will be the pronouns for the hottie. Ah, uh, pronouns. Okay. So you get she, they. Okay. And I get she, her. Okay, we're both doing girls. Only mine's a siren, so she's like, I'm also a they. You could be, <laughs> yeah, you could be a they, I don't know. Because I'll eat women as well. Correct, correct. <laughs> yes. We don't judge. Yeah, we don't discriminate. 
And last but not least, ask again for a one to six number. Final time. Okay. Uh, I guess you've done everything except for two, so you do two. No, but you, no. Two, I don't have five yet. Three, then you do five. Or three, wait a second. You just pick which one you want then. And this will be the sexuality. Sexuality. Oh. oh. Likes girls. So I guess you do discriminate. <laughs> yeah, lesbian. And... And effeminate men. <laughs> and I'm arrow ace? What does that mean? Ace just means they love everybody based on like... Uh, their personality. Hey, that's it's like real me. That's, I'm Arrow. Arrow Ace. Okay. Arrow. And now this has been going on for too long, so show me your new baby. Show me. Okay. Now. Okay. Now we are ready. So your character is going to have pink skin, orange hair, Good. black eyes, kind of long hair, is a siren is an emo siren, goes by she, they, and uh, is a lesbian. Yes. It's a B. Lesbian. It's a lesbian. <laughs> All right. And mine is going to have yellow skin, aquamarine hair, forest green eyes. Oh, damn. I wrote free choice. What was that one for? Hair. Oh, hair. length. Length. Okay, and then I'm a Dumbo demon girl who likes everybody. Okay. Whatever. This is my first OC. I don't have any OCs. So. That's crazy. I know. I I know. I mean, technically I do if you're good at count things that I've done a million years ago, but. I mean, yeah, like, of course. Okay. I was okay. going to say, I know you wrote an epic. Don't okay, I did. I did. Okay, so. <laughs> Now we're just both going to draw, so, um, great. Uh, so I'm a demon. Oh. I'm feeling, like, really blank. Okay. Demon. Demon girl. Think Catherine. <laughs> oh, okay. We used to play Catherine. You were the one who turned me on to Atlas games. I recently just bought another Atlas game. And I thought of you. Shimagami Tensei? It was the 13 Sentinels one. Oh. Aegis Rim. Yeah. I don't know that one. It's from Switch. It's on the Switch. It's like a detective one. Or oh, one. yeah. Of course, it's by Alice. Alice is the best. Okay, let's find a pose. I always like trying like the... Uh, oh, you're doing that? I'm just going. Well, you do what you gotta do. We all have different processes, right? Yeah. I just want the pose. Since it's a challenge and uh, it's, you know, nothing too crazy, I'll just do like a little portrait. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing... Um, titties up, basically. <laughs> titties up? <laughs> but you gotta, no, you can't do a portrait because yours is a mermaid. I guess I'll make it look like a mermaid in a portrait. Okay. I promise. All right. I, I have faith in you. I know. Yes, I can do it. I've gotten some weird requests over the years from people. <laughs> like sub sketch requests and stuff like that. How do you figure out how much to charge for commissions? I guess when I first started out and I didn't really have a presence, I was just trying to find what the baseline of people were charging that I felt like was worth my education and my time. So I started out charging $25 for like emotes. That's how I first got started. And then from there, I usually go every five commissions, I'll raise my rate because I, uh, oh. especially if it's something I wasn't very comfortable with in the beginning, so I may have undercharged. Now that I'm more comfortable with it, I can charge like a fairer rate for myself so now I do, uh 40 to 50 dollars per yeah you know. if people buy more from you like if they buy like a package you want to have those kind of package deals available too for any kind of asset if you're making assets on twitch youtube whatever uh -huh. social media people want to buy the whole package oh the whole package yeah, so here's the thing. So, like, you can be like, okay, you get, like, one emote for free. I'll do, like, a whole marketing Twitch package for, like, 500 bucks. And then you get, like, an overlay, you get a, a BRB screen, you get a welcome here, you get, like, five emotes, a set number of sub-cheer icons, stuff stuff like that. You want people to use you, right? Yeah, I, I haven't done any commissions yet. I mean... Uh, I would start a card.co, too. A card? A card. So, it's, like, a C-A-R-R-D... Co, and it's like this website that's like super easy to use and it's free to use too and um it's just really clean and it's a good way to show your portfolio to people okay and put prices and and you can get make a link tree so it's easier for people to see all your socials at once you know i'm gonna peek at what you're doing oh so okay. so far it's just a pink blob cool, pink cool, cool. Pink through skin. All right, yellow. But I'm gonna do a, yeah. 
but a sophisticated yellow. <laughs> okay. I think that's... Yeah, I was so happy to see you doing YouTube and stuff, Shayla. Yeah. <clears throat> I, um, I'm going all for it. My, my... As you should. I want to start doing conventions and selling artwork there, so I was like, all right, well, what sells at conventions? It's obviously fan art. Oh, I'm making myself do a bunch of fan art and then using that also to kind of learn how to paint digitally. When I got a hand mm -hmm. on that and I have enough followers, I'm going to start to do original work yeah that's the hardest thing right it's like that's another thing i know a lot of people struggle with is uh i had a friend i mean she's she's like really really good at what at drawing and stuff but she hates being art because she thinks it's like if i don't watch the show i don't want to draw it right yeah you know what I mean? like i don't want to just pander to whatever trend is happening she's like i just want to do something i enjoy and have people appreciate that and she found her niche in doing final fantasy couple portrait commissions oh so she plays the online final fantasy game like the mmo yeah yeah and uh that's where she found her entire like commission character base so really about getting commissions is like putting yourself where you want to be in a community that you enjoy and then seeing how you can use your skills to help that community grow or, or like benefit that community in some way at us at like offer the service right so yeah okay, i don't know what i did there with that yeah let's see what you're doing i think we'll get my reference to different screens so i actually watch you oh all right, in college, Shayna always rocked the hand poses. Like, <laughs> the best ballerina, like, expressive hand poses ever. <laughs> I love hands. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, so I figured getting a YouTube channel going would be a good way to get followers. And it's, it's a lot because I have to stay on top of anime trends. I have to always be watching what's new, what's really popular, things that I normally wouldn't watch. And that alone is, like hard enough because there's yeah, so much the out stuff, there dude. but i watched uh black clover yeah how was that it was really it's good woman, right huh it's written by a woman right uh pretty sure i it probably probably yeah all right yellow skin <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> that's fine i promise i don't have liver problems <laughs> um and i watched Fire Force, which was great, and I all uh, what is on my docket? My docket. You watched Spy Family, obviously. Oh yeah, that yeah, that one's really cute. Um, I have a whole list of everything that I need to watch. I've been watching vintage anime. I've been watching Gals, which is like about the old like Shibuya, you know, the really tan girls. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that with like the really like outward style. So I'm gonna do some vintage fan art of that later. I think. Okay. I, I love doing throwback uh, fan art. Yeah. Like, in 90s style. It's, like, my favorite thing to do right now. Yeah, so. it's so nostalgic to do 90s style anime. I love it. I really feel like, like, those kind of, like, textured traditional looks are coming back, so I think yeah. it's like our time to shine since we're traditionally trained, you know? Yeah. We may not know all the Photoshop's tricks and stuff, but we know how to paint. <laughs> I know that much. I know how to paint. I really do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. It may not look like it, but I sure do know how to paint. Yeah. Have you played around with trying to make your um, digital work? I mean, I guess you have, just looking off of the piece that you showed me. Digital work make look more like traditional, like watercolor? Yeah. Hmm? I've seen that done successfully, and it looks great if you can do it. Yeah. I don't worry so much about, like, the... the the brush strokes and stuff, obviously, I know, like any artist, we have a million and one brushes that we purchased and or gotten from someone and been like, this is my time now because I have this brush or whatever. But yeah. My tastes change. I mean, I like right now I'm really into um the jitter, the color jitter. I follow this one Korean artist. They're still in school, but their work is just so amazing and beautiful with color jitter uh because it adds like those colors that you would never think to add into it like automatically like you can program your brush to do it i'm kind of i'm using it right now you can see in the hair all those like touches of red oh, I love even though i have like orange selected mm -hmm. oh touches yeah yellow. see that and yeah so it adds that kind of like diversity that's naturally caught on like really shiny or transparent things like hair and skin and stuff yeah and it, it just adds like a whole new depth so that's like my thing right now is i really am into color jitter it really looks but, like the way you paint watercolor because you have all that influence from digga 
Yeah. Like, oh, I know. You can tell all I do is blot my brush everywhere. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm like, wow. But especially that last piece I did with the Jesse James one, I really was like, wow, this background is exactly like something I would have painted in it, 100%. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. I, I yeah. mean, that's good. I could tell it was you immediately. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's another thing. I don't really want to worry about developing my style. I just want to like try art, art styles that I like and, and kind of incorporate that over time into one big style, you know? Mm hmm. Lots of little influences, like your favorite music artist. They didn't like just one band growing up, you know? They had multiple influences. Some You might even be surprised, like, they'll be like, I loved metal, and then also jazz, <laughs> you know? Like, that's where we got this crazy jazzy metal album, and now it's like a whole new genre. So I really feel like that's how you innovate. Yeah. And so if you don't worry so much about getting one specific style perfectly then you're going to create something completely new and transformative. And then there's me who only listens to Radiohead. So. I mean, I love Radiohead. Shana made me the biggest Radiohead fan ever. All the feels. All the feels, dude. In our Pisces moon. Uh, oh, on, God, yeah. You, yeah. You took my answer. Oh, my God, Shana's here. Shana's here. I said, we'll listen to Shana. Yeah, because we're astrologically very, very similar. Hell yeah, dude. We got our big three or the same. Yeah. Do I really want to do underlit? No. No, I don't want to. Oh my write. goodness. I don't want to do that. Oh, I watched Corpse Bride for the first time. It's not so great. What? Really? I was just really disappointed because I thought it was going to be like more like Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. It was okay. I didn't like hate it, but like... Uh, the I songs like are not as catchy and like... Oh, definitely the songs are not as catchy, of course. And the character... The storyline is just kind of meh. Like... I agree. Nightmare Before Christmas. Nothing like that had ever been done before. Yeah. And it was great because of that, but... Also, Tim Burton gets too much credit for that because he didn't actually direct that movie, but... Yeah. He's a producer. I know. Still... A producer. If you ask anybody who produced... I mean, who... who who directed and made Nightmare Before Christmas? Everyone's going to say Tim Burton. You know, they're not going to be like, oh, mm -hmm. actually, I don't even know the guy's name. But he also did the Coraline and, and James and the Giant Peach. What color, si what color is my hair again? I think it was a cyan. Cyan. Aquamarine. I'm going to go more aquamarine. The I will say a benefit of, uh, besides cost effectiveness for doing digital art, is like the ability to shrink down parts that usually, like, I know I always have problems growing my head's too big or like my neck's too short. So yeah. It's always nice to digital. You could just like kind of turn things a little bit and it, it, it helps so much. Yeah. Yeah, or just like literally starting over <laughs> starting over at I some know. point that's and that's why i was so reluctant to start because i thought it was cheating yeah but yeah, i'm a snob good. yeah and i can't yeah. yeah i can't practically make a career out of this in this industry if i don't take advantage fully of all of the tools available to me that everyone else is using yeah. It's not it's not like I can go in and compete if I'm not knowledgeable and but I don't speak the language of digital art. That's not gonna work. But you do because it is just art after all. It's just yeah. like getting used to using the tools and like having it be so you can just sit down and draw like you did before, you know, like it comes from you, you know. Oh wait, I'm a I forgot I'm I'm supposed to be a dumbo. Yeah. <sighs> it's her blowing the bubblegum bubble or something. <laughs> Yeah, because demons have access to bubble gum. There's plenty of rubber in yeah, hell. Do. <laughs> it's all rubber. <laughs> Are you doing everything on one layer? Yeah, that's just how I usually work. Okay, then I don't feel bad for also doing that. No, I mean, again, it's just it's how we portray <laughs> what layers. I do it sometimes if like I want to like add shading to like a specific part or like bring something back. But probably just do all the color on one layer and then I'll go in and do it. Tidy it up in the top. My eyes are forest gray. Let me work some more on the skin. Black eyes. Oh boy. I kind of have an idea. You should hear me stroking. Stroking over here. <laughs> <laughs> stroking over here. You hear me stroking. I'm painting. No, <laughs> no You're doing Clip Studio paint? Yep. Uh, Studio. What do you think the benefits are? For that versus Photoshop? Uh, 
For me, it, well, it, I think they're starting a subscription service now, but it's still like way more. It's affordable. It was a lifetime licensing for me that really made it. So you buy the program oh. and that's it. You, updates free for life, stuff like that. Um, it's just more intuitive for the illustrative side of things. It's less like technical and illustrate or as a Photoshop because Photoshop it could also be used for a wide ver it's for you know, editing photos and stuff. So yeah. it's, it's great for adding effects that you want. But as for just like if you just wanna like just go into town and just paint, I just really love Clip Studio. It has all its brushes are free, pretty much. There are some you can pay for, but like you can just download a bunch of community brushes. And it has like pre made manga panel stuff. Oh, nice. It's really good for making comics. It has tones you can drop in. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. So, I want to uh, check it out. Like that. Plus, I like you can it. animate in it and you can make like full book spreads in it. Yeah, that's so cool. Are you. Oh my God, did you see hmm. David Tennant? Yes. Oh my god, I saw that and I was like, <gasps> but and then the, and Disney's like, I'm buying Doctor Who, and I'm like, don't yeah. you dare, don't you dare ruin my. It's too story. late. It's too late. Like, and then he made me watch the Van Gogh episode with him again. Like, ah, every time I'm like, this time I must be strong enough. Now, no, no, nope. nope. So sad. We were both crying. So it was fine. I cry about everything. God, yellow skin. Be they lesbian? <laughs> How does one show that they are lesbian? Uh, <laughs> I just got her grabbing a boob off to the There side. you go. <laughs> Perfect. Color of my eyes. How far are you? I'm just like this. You're pretty not, good. Not far. You're like already got background uh, pupils. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing one hour portraits forever, so. Oh, I haven't. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. It's really good, just practice. Yeah. You get really fast at putting down the priority shapes and stuff. I feel like if she was emo, her her orange of her hair would be less romantic. I always like drawing like these Victorian. Oh um, yeah, like you gotta do like, like give her pon give her short style, ponytails but... instead, <laughs> or cover up one of the eyes with some bangs. Exactly. That's what I'm like. <laughs> I need to do this. All right, here we go. <laughs> Also, there's like a brush in Clip Studio that I love. It's just like one of the default brushes. It's called Flat Marker, and it's exactly like using a Copic for me. And oh. I, I love it. It's, it reminds me of my marker work I used to do. So okay, what I need something else that says that she's a demon. Horns. Yep, yeah, bangs. Bangs. Horns, like a tooth. Yeah. A nails, tooth. Yeah. Long nails. You have such pretty hands. It'd be a shame not to. Oh no. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe some body markings, even like. Oh, that's a good idea. Some sort of symbols or something on her body. Should she be naked? Probably not for YouTube. I was going to say, that's up to you. I don't know what your channel is about. <laughs> I don't think on that level. That's better for hair. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should give her black eyeballs. I mean, like, the... Instead yeah, of the... So like the irises that yeah. the green? That'd yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it right there for you, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, that's creepy. Very much so. Perfect. Now let's get some harms. I guess you do them like the same color as her hair, but like reverse so that it's darker and then lighter. Should they come out of her forehead? It's one thing that's being into Dungeons and Dragons has taught me how to draw horns. Like there's so many different kinds. And... Yeah. So did I tell you my very sad experience about what? why I now know to save multiple copies of everything? Wait, what happened? All right. I had purchased a hard drive, like a crappy hard drive from Amazon on Prime Day for very cheap. Uh-huh. This is where it starts. Old and kept telling me, you know, you gotta, you can't buy things like that. What do you do? You gotta back it up. You'll lose everything. And how much work will that be? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yay. Very security minded, yeah. And um, <laughs> I got a new hard drive because I started running out of space for my videos because it takes up so much gosh darn space. <laughs> and while transferring files from one hard drive to another, I noticed that my most recent piece that I had done for the Ancient Magus Bride got corrupt. No. And I could not open it. So it kept saying cannot open file sh photoshop file is not supported or it would say um, file is corrupt or whatever so i'd come over 
to look at it. Yeah, she knows all that. And yeah, she she pulled up like the programming of it, like the HTML coding 001 crap. And she's like, I can't figure it out because I don't do, I don't work with Macs. I work with PC. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you suggest? She's like, I can see if I know anyone online who can do something like this for you. And I'm like, okay, please, please, please. She's like, I'll let you know. I got tired of waiting and I went to, oh, and then, then at this point, I realized that it wasn't just that. It was every single piece of art that I had done this year. Oh, every what? single file. You came into OneDrive? Yeah. That's the bigger is that it? That was it. That was all I had. No, I'm telling you, one drive ruins everything. Yeah. Oh my God, just save so I lost 12 pieces of art forever, yep. forever. Yep. And not only that, but I even tried going to Best Buy and having them file over cover it. And I was told that they would be able to do it and that it would be, you know, it would take some time and you have to buy this membership and, and la 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 la. And so they couldn't end up doing anything. In fact, they could never oh, have, they, they could never have even done what they said they were going to do. So then I had to go through and get like, a whole f refund. Yeah. It was such a pain in the ass. And yeah. now I'm back to square one. Yeah. And I don't so, have anything and they're gone. So yeah. what did I learn? Um, I'm oh, never going to do that again. I'm not going to buy crappy things. I And the, the best part is if I had just listened to <laughs> none of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. But if one drive didn't exist, it wasn't a sanctioned virus, then you didn't... But like happened. nothing... Nothing was wrong with the files until I started moving them around. Oh, they were just saved on a drive you can't access. That's why you couldn't get to them. Yeah, and they're there. Uh, the files still exist. I still have them. They're still corrupt, but... It, it makes you feel any better. I did the same thing when I first started streaming. I had all my stuff saved on OneDrive, and I lost it all when my computer died, and I couldn't recover it because I wasn't going to pay the OneDrive membership fee to get it back. Yeah. So no worries. We all make mistakes like that, and it sucks, but lesson learned, I guess. Yeah. I lost my persona piece. Yeah. I lost. I lost my ancient Magnus bride. No, I love that Magnus bride. At least you posted like some of it online. That's why. Yeah, I but I only. Online. But I never do quality images for my posts because I don't want someone to be able to take it. It's more if they're making a profit off your art, they have to worry about it. I want to make a profit off my art. It's <laughs> like, so that's why you don't have to worry about it too much in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't just created something for the sake of creating something in a while. This is fun. Yeah, that's another thing, right? When you're constantly on that grind of trying to create content for other people, you kind of forget to just exist. Yeah. And I'm, or right now, I'm just trying to copy something to make it look like something else and then instead of just doing me. So, emo. Nobody understands. <laughs> I'm just a siren. I sing and I sing, and everybody dies who listens to me. Yeah. That's like really you tough. Around. You probably wouldn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand the soul crushing sadness of everyone around you falling in love with you and then dying? I don't think so. <laughs> then you probably wouldn't get this song. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. She looks like a doe. It's just like the eyes, I guess. Like a deer. Yeah. A female deer. <laughs> I like how you took a chunk out of her ear. Oh, over here? Yeah, because I want to give her those fin ears. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, it also looks like I'm so damaged. Yeah, I'm so... I don't know what I was expecting from myself. Like, I <laughs> thought I would just do a quick... <sighs> I, I know myself better than that. Why do I? Why would I think that? I don't think you're anyone who would want to do something simple. <laughs> <laughs> Very complex thinker. You think about like a million things at once. So. Yeah, I do. I do. That's why I'm in Ravenclaw. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm in Ravenclaw. Mm -hmm. But I'm like the happy-go-lucky Ravenclaw. <laughs> you're like the Luna Lovegood. Yeah, that's why I'm just and, like okay. And I'm like, and I'm like, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to be like Cho Chang, but I think I probably am. I think I am Cho Chang. <laughs> so the realization that you are indeed Cho Chang. <laughs> I always hated her because I think I had a crush on Harry or something. Of course. Right? I mean, you know, I mean, truly, I had a crush on Snape, but people think that's gross. It's not gross. Why is that gross? Alan Rickman's hot. Yeah, I miss Alan Rickman, dude. Yeah. He's still alive in yeah. the media of our hearts. Sorry, he got to miss Corona. I, I yeah, that. that's true. He got he got the f out of here. Yeah, he's like God, and that'll be it for me always. We're like almost done. Me? Oh, kind of. I'm just like used to being putting down flats and just working from there. It helps speed things up. And I could always reach later. Mm -hmm. I barely do the drawing part anymore. Like I just sketch and then I just kind of paint. 
from there. It's easier for me because it's I run out of energy very quickly. I find out I'm more of like a short sprinter when it comes to art. Yeah, like I'm better at like binge sessions than I am about doing something small every single day and working on it. I think a recent commission I did it was like a, ta- a custom tavern piece for a streamer where like yeah, um, I literally it took me two months to do, um, and I literally only probably worked on it for uh, four days total, but it was like four twelve hour days. Yeah. <laughs> that that counts. That's a lot. <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, the sketching part is obviously one thing or whatever. That doesn't really... Yeah, it, it's taking me about 30 hours to do a piece right now. It's good to know how long it takes, uh, takes because that's also how you know how to charge. Yeah. For me, I do things super quickly, so I don't charge by the hour. I charge by the how difficult it will be because I know it doesn't make sense for me to charge anymore how long it takes me because I can get things done really efficiently but right but it's I still the same I shouldn't amount. be punished for that yeah that's why when uh, I do like freelance graphic design work for places they're like what's your hourly rate and I'm like I don't work hourly I work by project base it's not about that yeah <laughs> that'd be ridiculous because then I'd be beginning paid nothing to be good at my job more which is not my goal my goal is not to work forever right. all the time even though I love what I do, there still has to be time for other things. Yeah, good times. College was good times. It was, but it's, it's very long ago. It's very distant <sighs> I to me. Know. I mean, it was how long ago? 2014, I graduated. You graduated 2013. Yeah, over 10 years. <sighs> it was really nice when I went back to sit in MBK's class to see all the about to graduate kids. And, like, how optimistic they are. <laughs> and I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them. <laughs> Don't tell them. Like, Let them find their soul-crushing truth by themselves. Yeah. Like, you know, out of everybody, I think only three people actually made it into the job field that they were expecting to. What do you mean? Conrad and Jane have totally made it. Okay. Anna was, made a living for herself. She just decided to stop because she uh, wanted to... Uh, Take a break from art for a while. Who else made a living? I mean, I made a living. You're doing it now. I mean, yeah, it's like ten years later. <laughs> who cares? It, I mean, we were promised a future that was never able to be possible. That's our generation's issue, right? Yeah. At least Gen Z comes in, or Gen X comes in, or no, it's Gen Z comes into it like already knowing that the system's f- they're gonna work, work harder. Them. Yeah. We were promised if you, as long as you do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's not how it works. Honestly, it's not at all how it works. I, it's all about who you know. It is. And, I, and, and that's one of the best things you pay for in college. Everyone says, like, going to art college isn't worth it, which I kind of agree if you're going to go do a trade like art. I don't know if it's exactly worth it if you, if you have the discipline to do it on your own, right? Which is However, rare. the networking is impeccable, dude. The networking is Yeah. Impeccable. Going to art school kind of, like, saved my life. So I, I think for me it was very important that I do – I did go to school. I needed yeah. the routine very badly, and I needed, you know, yeah, the socialization. Like a, and Higher learning. Yeah. Yes. Into higher learning and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to get my master's so it, degree in like everything. Exactly. So it, of course, it's good for you. But I think like for a lot of people, they go in thinking something different. Like there, there are different kinds of artists I found out. Just like on Twitch, like I, I I've met, and there are the ones who are like digital art is cheating, using a ruler is cheating, and they hold using a back. ruler. Okay, boy. Yeah, I know. Using these perfectionisms to hold them back and like not in the program, and they'll be like, they're really good technically, right? But yeah. their creativity is zip. Well, but like the people companies want to hire to just churn out material as a render farm. Yeah. And I talked to Conrad about this because he talked about how he felt like he was just turning into a render farm and how he changed his. Uh, his, the way that he does illustration so he does it it takes less work to get a, just as good of an effect which is how i learned about overlay layers adding noise for texture um stuff like that and it's it's really really cool to like hear both sides of it because we glorify like that's the end all be all but like honestly people who are in that position that are creative and forced to do the technical side of things just want to be Free. Free. <laughs> right, but people, some people like the security of just having a job they can go to 9 to 5, do their art, and come home. And that's a different kind of artist. So it's it's really diverse. All the technical skill, none of the creativity. Or you can be super creative and not be very technical, but your style is unique, you know? And you have a vision, and you, you yeah. put the work in to make that vision a reality. That's why you see so many different kinds of art styles that can be successful, even if you're like, well, that's not that crazy, or that was not that impressive. It's not about that. It's about them being able to communicate yeah. through their art very clearly. 
I mean, there were plenty of people in our grade or our class that were extremely technically skilled, but we didn't even learn till the end that they were tracing. No, yeah, like they could paint so well, but they barely showed up to class. Oh, uh, yeah, that was, yeah. Meanwhile, well, there's us who's like trying to put in all the work. All the work, never ending. I mean, mediocre results every time. <laughs> I made a lot of crappy stuff in college. You so made a lot of beautiful things. I did too. That one like, semester that year was like your That was my year. Cool. The year when I made the ram and the seahorses and it was because your environment was good. You were next to Rosa, you could hang on every day. Oh, yeah. You know, think about all the factors that made you successful. It wasn't just like you were super motivated. You were super motivated and you had the proper environment, proper tools. Yeah. Proper resources. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. That's why I don't feel bad when, like, 14-year-olds come out with these crazy art pieces. I'm like, you know what? I didn't have that stuff that they have nowadays. I didn't have the exposure also to... Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go through my old stuff and redraw some things. I'm gonna do, do it on the video on the live, so we'll see <laughs> how bad it used to be. But maybe there's some good stuff in there. I don't know. Well, I think that you can take some good pieces out. I remember MPK gave me a critique one time, and he was like, you know, this piece, like, the woman's ugly or whatever. <laughs> 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 He's like, the woman's ugly. He's like, I get, like, the woman's ugly in the original, blah, blah, blah. He's like, but right here on this hand, you see how you painted this hand? That's a good bit of painting there. And you can take what they say there or whatever, that critique. Yeah. Or what people like about that one piece. And just, like, really be like, okay, what did I do here? You know, just kind of analyze it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to think too much, but just... Try to replicate it again. I'd be like, okay, I put some blue tones down first, blurred that, and then put the red on top, and then that's what gave me this really nice effect. Like, you know, so. Yeah, let's start from there. I gotta give her like a pride uh, <laughs> necklace or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like nothing I've ever painted before. That's great. All right, so now that there's a freeze frame here with both of our pictures next to each other, because do you want to say anything? Say goodbye? Thank you for having me, Shayna! <laughs> it was so cool to do this challenge with you. I had so much fun. I love drawing with you. It reminds me us of us back in college. The old, so the Let's good old days. Challenge. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Ariel. We will talk yes. to you soon. Thank you everyone for watching. Please enjoy this short time lapse of Ariel's process and I will put Ariel's contact information on screen and in the link below, as well as the other art friends that I had mentioned earlier in this video. If you'd like to show me some love and support, please hit that like button and share this with your art friends. And if you're an artist and you would like to duo do some art challenges with me, please feel free to reach out. I will put the email that's best to contact me at in the link below. And I thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day. And my name is Shane Ashley. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.